So what I have is uh, extending uh, integration API to gRPC API. So the main thing is uh, we have OpenMS integration API. I think everybody knows about integration API. It's a stable Java API. Uh, the main uh, thing is we need to for the extending functionality of OpenMS. We need to implement uh, Java interfaces, uh, and then uh, it can be deployed as a card file or as a features in OpenMS, and you can extend OpenMS functionality. So it's been there from last, I think, one and a half year. Uh, it uh, supports a stable Java, Java API across versions. Uh, it's there in Meridian 2019 as well, I think. And now uh, we want to extend this integration API to gRPC API. So what is a gRPC? Uh, it's initially developed by Google. Uh, it's open used uh, across platforms. So it, main feature that uh, is good for us is like it supports bidirectional streaming, which is uh, very much needed for our use cases. Uh, and as well, uh, gRPC clients can be developed in any language. Uh, servers can also develop in language, in any languages. So that it actually kind of useful for anybody who doesn't know Java uh, very well, so they can actually integrate with OpenMS. And it has by default authentication supports with uh, TLS. So the work that I did was uh, developing a gRPC server in Java uh, that serves any other gRPC clients, whether it is in Go, whether it is in uh, JavaScript, whether it's in Java, it can serve all those clients. That's kind of REST server, but in gRPC server. So it also, uh, the main thing with uh, the integration API was, it, although it is Java, we still need to know OSGA. And a lot of times, even Java developers doesn't know much about OSGA on how to develop the OSGA plugins. So that's a difficulty that can be removed with uh, gRPC. And with uh, other thing is like all the plugins that we develop with integration API, they need to be run in OpenMS. Uh, but having a gRPC server that sits on OpenMS, the clients doesn't need to run in OpenMS. They can run a separate process, and uh, the stability of those clients will not be affecting the OpenMS. That's 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 kind of good. Uh, and as well, um, other thing was like. Uh, it's a secure communication between OpenMS and as well as the clients. So, uh, although like we have uh, events, I mean, I mean, uh, from outside we can get the events, but we expose TCP and UDP ports, but they are not authenticated. So, with uh, gRPC having a gRPC server, uh, we have a good way to have a secure communication between those things. And it currently supports alarms, listener, events, power order, and event listener. And uh, this is a sample proto file that we have. Uh, it's a simple API. Uh, send if or send event. Uh, it takes an event and gives an acknowledgement that it is received the event. And for event listener, once we register a, a client, it returns a stream of events. It continuously uh, gives you stream of uh, events. For the demo part, uh, Alejandro has uh, better I and mean, more cool demos. Uh, the simple one I have was uh, to show. You see my shared screen? Yep. So the uh, open open mass integration API server is running now uh, we just need to deploy the card file i already deployed now and then we can start service uh, let me start a server which is uh, a, a, a go server that uh, listens to the alarms there's one more server which uh, listens to the events and uh, we can run a Java client, which is kind of test client, which sends events as well as listen, present to the events. So it sends an event saying like uh, the gRPC client has started, and we can see that those events we can see in the Go Go client as in as well as in the alarms. We can actually see those events in the OpenMS API as well. So. 
that's all for my demo. And I think Alejandro has more cool demos because he implemented uh, Java script related uh, uh, GRPC client. Okay, so let me see if I can present now. So I really wrote a small uh, React.js application that uses gRPC web to show the functionality that Chandra wrote. So one thing about gRPC web is that it's actually not fully gRPC in terms of HTTP2 because of what browser supports at the moment. So that requires a proxy. And the current recommendation is use Envoy for that purpose. So basically, the React application is going to talk through Envoy to the gRPC server that's running in, in this instance of OpenMS. So if I open that UI, doesn't have anything at the moment. And that UI is going to live showing all the alarms once they are created. So let me quickly create a, a node there. And of course, every time an alarm is created, it's updated immediately there. And then let's emulate some alarms. So I'm going to say an odd lost service. And you can see it is immediately taken. And then one of the cool thing is because I'm actually processing the updates, if I send the rearm, it just updates the existing entry with the regained service. And of course, like you can get all the things. It's very simple at the moment because I just wanted to show the gRPC communications. And actually, this also has the ability to send an event. And because I'm sending an event that doesn't have a definition, that will actually generate an alarm. So we'll be able to see it here. And as Chandra already showed, these are also the Go clients against the exact same API showing the events that coming in. And this is pretty much the equivalent of the React app, but on the CLI. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Awesome. Thank you, Alondra. Alondra, was there anything else? Or is that, that it? Yeah, that's all. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, so this just starts to showcase, you know, some of the powers of the integration API and you know, the things that we can do on top of it. So um, we're able to use the current interfaces, right? Expose gRPC server, and then implement, you know, live streaming to a web browser, right? Without any changes to OpenMS, and then just by dropping an extra, you know, jar file in your tree. So I think that you know, speaks a lot to the uh, extensibility of the API, which is nice. Um, 